Hi, welcome to Vacuum Etc's How To Series. Today we're going to be covering how to wire the main control board for your heat surge electric fireplace. This is part two of our video on heat surge troubleshooting and replacement video. So if you haven't watched that first, please do so. It will show you how to get inside the cabinet and mount the main control board. This is strictly just for those who have already ordered the parts from us and are ready to wire it. Well, let's get started. So the first wire that we're going to connect is the heater wire. The heater will have two wires. You're going to follow the top wire out and when you look at the board you're going to find flame then 750 watts, 750 watts. The 750 watts one spot of this wire gets plugged into. The second one, follow this out, to the second 750 watts. One of these will operate the heater on low. Both of them combined will operate the heater on high. And it does not matter which wire gets to where as long as they're both plugged in. Next we're going to wire up the fan. The bottom wire is typically the shorter of the two wires from the fan. The top wire is typically the long wire. Again, just like the heater, it will not matter which one's plugged into where, but the short wire will go on to the fan port of the board, where it says fan, so plug that one in. The long wire is the neutral wire, and that gets plugged into the back of the unit, into the neutral slots. There are several spots for neutral. It does not matter which one this gets plugged into. I just like to start the fan in the first slot. Alright, so the next two wires that we're going to connect are the thermal wires leading from the heater. Again, also, it does not matter which one gets plugged into where, but one is going to be plugged into ACL1, the next will be plugged into ACL2. So we'll plug this one into ACL2 here, this one, of the shorter, plug this one into ACL1. The white wire leading from the thermal top of the heater we'll plug into the neutral side I'm going to plug this into spot number three that's how the factory does it just like that since I'm here I'm going to go ahead and plug our cord neutral into the second slot there again this just to repeat this is all neutral so it does not matter which side it gets plugged into this white wire leads from our synchro motor and lights. It's the neutral combined so we're going to plug this into the next slot that's open. Make sure they get fully clipped into. Just like that. Finally we're going to plug in the power. This is going to come from your tip switch. From the top of the tip switch followed all the way down to ACL3 which is the last slot on the main control board. Now this leaves just two more wires to connect, possibly three depending on the model that you have. Now one of these is a flame motor, which is the synchro motor, and the other one's the lights. This particular machine, the yellow wire, as with most of the machines, the yellow wire is the lights or lamp. When you get your new main control board, uh, it is designed for either the, the lamp models or the LED light system. So if yours has the LED light system, it's a black plug that plugs into here and you will not have this yellow wire. So this one has lights, regular light bulbs, so we're going to plug it into the lamp section right here. The brown wire is the synchro motor, which makes the flames, and that's where that flame spot comes into play and that plugs right into there. Once that is done, you'll need to plug in, if you use the remote control, your remote sensor wire. And in this particular unit, the remote sensor wire is going to have a red connection and that will simply plug into the red spot right here. We're going to add the remote sensor to this unit, but it would lead right from the back, following up, and plug right into here. 
the final connection will be your keypad circuit board which will plug right into the long white connection right here and then you're done these two spots right here are either for a um, potometer switch and a thermocouple wire depending on whether your model uses those or not or whether it requires it to be removed or not this particular unit that we're working on is a 2008 ADL MX so it required us to remove the thermocouple wire other models may require you to have it or even change it with your main control board well there you have it that's our wiring diagram for the main control board for your heat surge electric fireplace if you have any questions or difficulties, please give us a call, 253-474-9468, or visit us on our website where we have a multitude of how-to videos, parts that are available for you, and instructional guides at www.mybackingplace.com. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you.